Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Journey to Health with Seals. No guys, today we're going to deal with an important topic that affects many people. And it's summertime right now, and many people are concerned about the look of their heels. We're going to talk about how we can get rid of cracked heel. No guys, cracked heel can be so unsightly when you see them. And there are so many simple home remedies that you can actually use right now to get rid of your cracked heel in one night, one day. Now guys, I want to invite you to come along with me. I'm going to share with you four amazing remedies on how you can get rid of those cracked heel right now. And if you stay with me until the very end, I'm going to share with you an amazing moisturizer, guys. This moisturizer is made with a few simple ingredients, including Vaseline and shea butter and a few other ingredients. Guys, this moisturizer treatment is so amazing. I've used it for my elbows, my arms, my knees, my heels. And guys, I can guarantee you this, that if you use this treatment for your heels, after you use those remedies, you use this moisturizing treatment for your heels, you will never develop cracked heels again. Never. And I've given you my guarantee because why? I've used it for myself personally over and over again. Now, if this is a video that you're interested in, I invite you to come along with me. I'm going to share with you those four remedies right now and the recipe on how you can put together this amazing moisturizing treatment for your cracked heels. You might be wondering what are some of the causes of cracked heels? Well, when you put extra pressure on the fat pad of your heels, that can cause your heel to become cracked, dry, and develop a, a thick skin that forms crack or heel fixtures in your heel. If you're the type of person who likes to wear open heel shoes, such as sandals, or taking long baths or showers, or using harsh soaps, perhaps you might not be a person who lotion very regularly, or you might be exposed to a lot of dry, cold weather without moisturizing those heels, or sometimes if you're just standing for very long periods of time. All of these are causes of crack heels. You can develop crack heels from all of these circumstances. And so we want to stay away from these causes. No matter what the cause of your cracked heels, there are steps that you can take right now to treat them and keep your heels from cracking in the first place. Most cracked heels can be treated at home by soaking your feet and then moisturizing them. And that is what we're going to be talking about today. Now, if you're struggling with cracked heels, it's very important that you start taking care of those heels immediately to protect your skin from becoming infected and developing cellulitis. The first treatment we're going to talk about is how you can get rid of the crack heel using salt and rose water. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to take one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of glycerin, and one tablespoon of rose water to a basin filled with warm water. Mix the ingredients thoroughly in the warm water, and then you're going to soak your feet in the mixture for 15 to 20 minutes. And then what you're going to do, you're going to take a scrub and remove the dead skin cells using a pumice stone or a foot scrubber. And then once that's done, you're going to rinse with clean water. You're going to dry and apply with a Vaseline moisturizer, which I'm going to show you how to prepare at the end of this video. The second crack heel treatment, you're going to mix one quarter cup of Listerine of any kind, a quarter cup of vinegar, a half a cup of warm water as hot as you can take it or you can even use one cup depending on how much you need and you're going to soak your feet for 10 to 15 minutes you're going to scrub once you're finished soaking your feet you're going to scrub with a pumice stone or a foot scrubber and you're going to rinse with clean water you dry and apply with vaseline moisturizer and so that's your second crack heel treatment for the third crack heel treatment you're going to fill two-thirds of a basin with warm water and you're going to add three tablespoons of baking soda uh, this is a very popular treatment as you know baking soda is very effective at loosening up those heels and so you're going to mix the baking soda into the water very well and then you're going to soak your feet for 10 to 15 minutes once you're finished soaking your feet for 10 to 15 minutes you're going to scrub using a pumice stone or a foot scrubber and you're going to rinse with clean water you're going to dry your feet and apply your vaseline moisturizer the next treatment that we're going to be talking about is going to be your fourth treatment. And with this treatment is another very popular treatment using Epsom salt. And so you're going to use half a cup of Epsom salt, half a basin of warm water. And with that, you're going to soak your feet for 10 to 15 minutes. You're going to rinse with clean water, scrub with a pumice stone or a foot scrubber. And you're going to rinse with clean water, dry and apply your Vaseline moisturizer. 
Now it's time for us to put together that Vaseline moisturizer. Now guys, I have a very, very simple moisturizer. It's very simple, but very effective. And as you can see, this is what I have been using every single night on my crack heels, almost completed. So it's about time for another batch. And so guys, all I do is use some basic ingredients. And as you can see, we have here uh, shea butter, butter, we have shea butter, we have aloe vera gel, we have vegetable glycerin, we have our Vaseline, and of course we have our castor oil. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be putting these ingredients together, we're gonna put the shea butter and the Vaseline together, and we're gonna uh, put it in the microwave. We wanna loosen it up, we wanna melt it together so that it can you know, mix very well together. It doesn't mix well together if you don't immerse it in some hot water or put it in the, in the uh, microwave for approximately uh, 30 seconds. I wanna make sure that I make enough for my container. Okay, I want to make sure I fill this container, which is not a very big container, as you can see. I'm going to be using the two spoons of the shea butter. Shea butter is a rich source of vitamins and fatty acids that provides deep moisturization to dry, crack heels. And so that's one of the reasons why we're using it today. And it's going to help to nourish and hydrate the skin and promote healing and preventing further dryness or cracking in your heels. So that is two spoons of the shea butter. And we're also going to be using two spoons of the Vaseline. Okay, my Vaseline is almost completely finished. As you know, Vaseline is also known as petroleum jelly and it will create a protective barrier on the skin surface. And so it's going to seal in all the moisture, all the amazing moisture that you're going to be including in this in this recipe today. Okay, I need a new Vaseline as you can see. It's pretty much finished right now. And Vaseline is also going to help to seal in that moisture and prevent any moisture loss. And it's also gonna to help to soften and moisturize the dry, the dry crack heels. And it's gonna keep them hydrated and reduce any further cracks. So that's one of the reasons why we are going to be using these two ingredients. You can hear some kind of construction going on outside, so I apologize for that. The thing we're gonna be doing, guys, we're gonna be putting this into the microwave for about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna come back and add our other three amazing ingredients. Okay guys, so I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. That didn't work. I put it for an extra 30 seconds and this is what we have right now. I still feel like I need to put it for another 30 seconds. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like after one and a half minute. Okay guys, so after one and a half minute, this is what it looks like. And so this is melted enough sufficiently so that we can work with this. So this look a lot more liquid and I think we can start working with this. Okay guys, so now we have our melted Vaseline and shea butter. We're gonna be adding approximately one teaspoon of the aloe vera gel. And as you know, aloe vera gel is very, very soothing and it has healing properties. That is very, very, very beneficial. It's gonna be very beneficial to our crack heels and it will also help to moisturize and hydrate the skin while providing a cooling sensation. Aloe vera also contains vitamins and minerals that promotes skin repair and regeneration and that's exactly what we want. Now, when you're working with the melted Vaseline and shea butter, we wanna make sure that we work very quickly before it starts to harden again. The next ingredient we're gonna be using is vegetable glycerin. And as you know, glycerin is a humectant that attracts moisture from the air and it's gonna to help to retain moisture in our skin. Okay, and so we're gonna be adding one teaspoon of the vegetable glycerin, approximately a teaspoon. And the vegetable glycerin is going to keep the skin hydrated and prevents dryness, which contributes to crack heels. Okay, as you can see, as we mix the ingredients together, it's becoming a little hardened, and so we want to make sure we work very quickly. And vegetable glycerin also has emollient properties, which will help to soften and soothe the skin. Okay, now our next ingredient is going to be castor oil. And you know, castor oil is amazing when it comes on to treating crack heels because of its moisturizing and nourishing properties. You know, it gives deep moisturization to the skin. Castor oil is considered to be a thick, viscous oil that penetrates deeply into the skin. And so it's gonna provide intense moisturization to our crack heels. And also it's going to help to restore moisture balance and prevent further dryness. So it's an amazing ingredient. We're using all the uh, moisturizing ingredients already and this is just going to further help to soften and smooth the skin. It's going to promote healing and because of its antifungal and antibacterial properties, it's going to be beneficial in protecting our crack heels from becoming infected. And so this is an amazing ingredient to add to the end. So we're also going to be adding 
one teaspoon of castor oil. And so guys, once we have everything mixed really, really well, as I said before, this is exactly what it's gonna look like when it's all done, okay? I also use it to moisturize my hands, guys. It's an amazing moisturizer. So you're not, you can only not, you not only use it for your crack heel, you can use it on your elbows, you can use it on your hands, to moisturize your hands, and of course, most importantly, you're gonna use it on your crack heel on a daily basis, okay? So all we're doing right now, guys, we're just pouring it in right now, and what's going to happen is, once it's completely cold and hardened, then it's time to start using it, okay? Now, I, if you have the crack heel, I wanna advise you, you can use this twice per day. You can use it morning and evenings, and in the evenings, when you're using it, guys, I would encourage you to put on, perhaps put on a socks, you know? You can put it on, moisturize your heels, and then you're gonna put on a socks, and this is going to be your amazing treatment, okay? This amazing treatment. Once it's dried, I mean, once it's completely cold and hardened, then it's gonna be time for you to start using it, okay? This will take approximately, I would say, uh, an hour to completely hardened, and so, or you can even put it in a refrigerator. If you want to start using it right away, the fastest way to get this hardened is by put it, putting it in the refrigerator. And so, put it in a refrigerator, it's gonna to help to, you know, harden it uh, uh, much quicker, and then you can start using it as soon as it becomes hardened. Now, there you go. A perfect moisturizer to keep your cracked heel fully moisturized. And guys, even when you get over those cracked heels, you want to continue using this particular treatment, this particular moisturizing treatment to keep your cracked heels, to keep your heels from becoming cracked again. And I can guarantee you this, that if you keep using this moisturizer for cracked heel, you will never develop cracked heels again. And this is what I use every single day on my, my feet. And it does keep my feet my legs, my knees, my elbows, my hands, my palms. This is what keep my heels and other parts of my body fully moisturized. And so I want to encourage you to keep using this treatment, not only as a, as a way to, to heal your crack heel, but as a preventative measure as well. Combining these ingredients, we're creating a potent moisturizing and nourishing blend to prevent crack heels. The shea butter, Vaseline, will provide deep hydration and create a protective barrier against crack heels while the aloe vera, the glycerin, and the castor oil will add soothing and moisturizing properties to prevent and protect our skin from getting cracked. Now guys, I've provided you four amazing cracked heel remedies, home remedies, and I hope you decide to give it a try. And I've also given you an amazing moisturizing treatment for your cracked heels. But you know what guys, if you keep using this amazing moisturizing treatment, you will never develop cracked heels again. This is a treatment I've been using for a long, long time, and it has protected my skin, my heels from becoming cracked. Now guys, if you enjoyed watching the video, I wanna encourage you to like the video so that others will see it and be encouraged by it. And also, if you have not yet joined this amazing YouTube family, I wanna encourage you to hit that subscribe button right now and become a part of this amazing YouTube family. Now, until then, it's cheers to your great health and great looking skin from Journey to Health with Seals. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!